welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is Lost Falls. Today we're going to be going on a tour of Marglade. Steven has instructed me to bring a ladder and a vaulting pole and we're going to go. Steven describes his island as lush and swampy. It's a swamp core island, but it has big tropical vibes. He says it's like a resort within a swamp, which I definitely agree with. I mean, look at this flyover. The colors and everything are immaculate. You might recognize that Nook's Cranny area if you've been around for a while. But yeah, I'm so excited to have Steven lead me around. This is going to be my first live tour. I usually do Dream Address. Steven has even picked out an outfit for me. They have impeccable taste. I look very cute throughout this tour, I can assure you. But yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's hop right in. Just by the entrance, you can already see the vibes going on on this island. You can tell how incredible and beautiful it is. Also, we're going to call it magic that the grass is green and these trees are lit up and it's December 17th all at the same time. Steven tells me that this is Bo's beachside greenhouse. Very cute. I love this pattern on the ground, which is what makes this island a swamp. Very, very creative and beautiful. I love the way Steven is able to curve it around all of the furniture and plants and everything. It just looks so nice. Also, look at this little like greenhouse area. Cute. I love the little sign. Look at this like custom rose. That's so pretty. I have to clap for good designs. We also have to test out any seating locations just to make sure they're good. Look how cute we are sitting in this little beach swamp. Cute, cute, cute. I love the flower colors too, the pink, green. I see lots of purple and blue too. I feel like I always try to stay with pretty safe colors like autumn colors and white flowers, but there's so many gorgeous colors on this island. Also, look at that butterfly model over there. Cute. How many times am I going to use the word cute challenge? <laughs> oh, look, this is a bug model, too. Ta-da, I'm saying hello to it, obviously. But we'll see what else this beach holds, perhaps. It seems like the greenhouse extends a bit here. I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, Steven says this is a butterfly swamp trail. I like the, the single statue here. Really accentuates this area. Also puppy. We're gonna say hi to every potentially living creature and pretend that that's not a plushie. Steven also uses a lot of weeds here on the beach. I always get annoyed because they grow so fast, so I never let weeds grow on the beach. But it seems like these are all freshly picked and replanted. The effort, it is impeccable. Heading back onto land here, we're gonna go in the other direction. I love Steven's Zen bridges as well. They do a really good job placing these. I mean, look at this view. You can see Genji's house in the distance. Again, we've got this like mesh of so many different colors going on. It's truly gorgeous. I love the lights on the trees. Without snow, it looks so like, I don't know, very fairy core-esque. Oh, and look, here's one of my favorite areas, Nook's Cranny. If you watched my Nook's Cranny ideas video, you'll recognize this area. Steven gave us an exclusive first peek at his Nook's Cranny setup, which is just so, so gorgeous, especially with the festive decorations up. Look how cute. Steven also has a very unique way of doing his pathing because you can see like these are very narrow walkways and there's a lot of water, which I mean is to be expected in a swamp, but Stephen does it really well. Like this is so navigable. I don't feel like I'm stuck or anything, which is interesting because I get claustrophobic really easily in this game. Also look at this chicken. Is that Becky? I don't know. I don't know her name. I'm not gonna lie. But this is cute. We've got like a little beachside cafe and it leads down into the beach itself. I'm a big fan of putting the tree's bounty arch on the beach. You might have noticed that from Lorian. 
This is so classy though. Look at the little piano. Well, it's a big piano, but. Moving to the left here, we have another little bench and that's really nice with the lighthouse behind it. I feel like this must be really beautiful at night when you can like have the light shining as well. I always panic when I'm trying to do reactions and I end up doing the same one over and over again because I don't want to open the whole reaction thing and fall behind in the tour. We've got more swampland here with the custom design on the ground. Honestly, it's kind of a relief because I really don't like the sound of footsteps on sand for some reason. I feel the same way about snow. Look at all the colors going on in this area though. You've got the pink shell fountain, you've got the green yule log. It's all so beautiful, especially with this rose lattice design. Very similar to the one I use on Lost Falls, or near Frobert's house I mean. Honestly, I never like it when there are a lot of weeds on islands, and this is the first one that I've been to that I'm like, yes, this looks amazing. With the weeds, it looks so good. They make it feel more lush. But this view is amazing. And now we get to climb for the first time. Exciting. So we get a view of the swamp here, very nice. You can see just the shadow, just the silhouette of resident services, a beautiful view. Also Marshall in the distance, amazing. I love these purple tulips, they're very vivid. I feel like I'm afraid of purple flowers for some reason, like I think I have one on Lost Falls. There's a big festive tree at resident services, how did I not notice this until now? It looks like we've got more swampland over here to the left. I love how many butterfly models there are. There's the birdwing model over there. And the waterfalls. They make such a nice backdrop for this island. Like, that's what makes it feel tropical, I think, is how the waterfalls are structured. Also, the bright colors make it feel tropical. I think this is... I don't know, maybe... Fuchsia's house? No. No, I don't remember seeing fuchsia on the, uh, on the map. Whatever, it's a cute house. It really matches with the flowers around here. Look at all the different water-related furniture we have. We have a well over there, and then the shell fountain, the bird bath. Oh, and this leads to Able Sisters. Nice. It feels very tucked away, but still super cute, super cozy. I've got to get in a good workout so I can fit into their clothes. Also, oh my gosh, look at that. In the window is one of the moo's, like the one I'm wearing. Did I say that word correctly? I hope so. I have a degree in English and I still can't I still can't pronounce words properly. It's it's fine. And then we've got a little Atlas moth model. I say little, but it's actually enormous. I like how much we get to hop on this island too. Like I said in one of my speed builds, I rarely ever incorporate hopping areas because I don't know, they feel illegal to me for some reason, but they're so cute. They add so much spice to an island, I think. Also this Zen bridge, not Zen, uh, suspension bridge is really well placed, I think. Look at Genji, he's just vibing. I really hope he'll let me by, fingers crossed. Oh, but look at this area we're heading into if Genji would get out of my way. That's like beautiful. Look at all the pink and purple. Okay, Steven says this is a frog pond, which makes sense given the frog models everywhere. I love it. Again, we've got these really narrow paths. It's so beautiful. I just, wow. 
this is a nice view. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Granted, I'm not on the swamp core side of Animal Crossing social media usually, but this is really nice. Look at all the butterfly models that are visible right here. We've got the one I am yelling at, but also the two in the background. It's incredible. And you got the little butterfly book on the table. Cute. I like the use of bamboo trees as well. I don't see those as often, and I don't use them at all on Lost Falls or Lorien, but they're so pretty. I hope I can incorporate them for winter because I think they're so beautiful when they're blue. And now we say ado to Genji. Here are a couple of the butterfly models we were seeing before. Oh, I recognize this area. Steven posted this. It is a Dry Lagoon inspired area from uh, Sonic Adventure 2. I'll make sure to get like a better view of it but this is so pretty like look at the the models and the rock head statues this is gorgeous i didn't even play the game but so beautiful i like how they've managed to incorporate this here I love that the beaches are just huge pops of color, so many flowers and beautiful designs. And again, we've got several weeds. Look at this tent, like, tucked away right next to the water. I love that. And the little circle of swamp, so cute. I also like this letter custom design on the ground. I never use tree standees, but this looks so good here. It makes the area feel fuller. And oh, this is cute. This feels like the art and culture corner. Like you got your art, your music, your sculptures, you've got your hobbyist stuff, gifts. It's like a mini post office. Look at the little letters on the ground. And he's got his mailbox over here and scattered papers. And there's an essay set. So you can come over here and pretend you're writing to a friend. And the tiny library kind of looks like its own little mailbox too. That's so cute. Just a tucked away little postal area the post rock <laughs> there are so many levels to this island i like how it isn't like flat in the front with a bunch of cliffs in the back like it seems like this island fluctuates throughout and also again we've got another beautiful zen bridge this is absolutely stunning look at this view And it looks like we've got a little orange stall over here. I love that. Look at the little, the little like orange dress behind the stall. That's so cute. We can have coconut juice and orange juice over here. Also, this customization for the, what is it called? The pitcher, the classic pitcher is so nice for this stall. It's like perfect. I don't think I'm supposed to sit on these little bundles of oranges, but whatever, whatever. No one can stop Lex. But look how the path twists around these flowers and things. It's just beautiful. I'm really curious about how Steven went about like planning this island because it is so chaotic, but still like you know where you're going. Like it's not hard to navigate around, even though there are so many twists and turns. It's so well thought out. And we've got like a spooky corner here. Whose house is this? We've got Becky's house. Okay, so I think I was right because that definitely looks like the purple chicken would live here. Yes, okay. Steven says this is Becky's witchy bog, which I love. Look, a little potions counter. Oh my gosh. Fortune telling and everything. We have it all at this resort island. We're even like summoning demons over to the left. That's amazing. I do be taking forever to climb places. But this is cute. We've got the scary well. I don't know why everyone thinks this well is scary because I think it's cute, but apparently it reminds some people of horror movies. 
Again, we've got just a lovely view here of the bog. And even in this spooky area, even though there are purple and black flowers surrounding Becky's house, we've got these beautiful lush tropical colors again up here and they vibe. Like, it still feels cohesive even though they're completely separate like aesthetics being meshed here. I'm beginning to think that Steven is simply a genius. Make sure you check the description if you want to see more of this island because Steven is on Instagram and Twitter and their work is absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with this custom design that Steven uses, the custom pathway. Honestly, maybe it's time for me to make a swamp core island. Honestly, if I was a campsite visitor, I think this view would be enough for me. Like, I'd be convinced, yes, let me move in immediately. It reminds me of the area by uh, Blair's house on Lost Falls. I gave her her own little sunken waterfall with a statue. Also, look at Stonehenge hidden away back there. It's like a little hint at the mysteries you can uncover on this island. It's got intrigue. I think it's so funny to do a live tour when I'm usually like sprinting around islands. I'm incredibly impatient at dream addresses for some reason. I just like storm around, I charge. Like I have limited time on the island, I've got to run. But this is nice. We're just pleasantly strolling along through these just stunning views. I feel like I'm on vacation. We're making use of another little seating area. And with this, you have the ocean background, which is really nice. Also lucky that both of these trees have lights. It's so beautiful. Another Zen bridge, you already know I stan. Oh, I love this bamboo tree in the middle of the swamp custom design. That's just gorgeous. Now we're heading back down to ground level. We've got more bug models and the museum makes sense, makes sense. And this isn't upgraded. This museum is the original museum, which is very cute on this island, I think. It looks so like, I don't know, so much more elegant, I think, with all the banners hanging. I don't know if elegant is the right word, but I love the early rendition of the museum. And we've got another little art spot here on the secret beach. I love the Aquarius urn. I think it's the best zodiac item. We've got a lot of purple in this area. I really love that. And we use like the darker uh, swamp custom design. Instead of the lighter blue, we have like the midnight color. I love the green mush lamp here as well. I always thought it was weird that the brown mush lamp lit up as green, but whatever. I love all of the star fragments that are like scattered across the ground throughout this island. I've noticed it, haven't like mentioned it yet. But yeah, look at the little star fragment over in front of the bear. I always forget that that's like an aesthetic choice you can make to drop items. This island really makes me want to use suspension bridges more. And look at this little swampy area. I love this. The person who lives here, or the animal rather, is very lucky. Okay, Steven says this is Murphy. Murphy and his swamp forest. Just look at all of the furniture here and everything. The garden wagon, incredible. I 
I feel like I'm speechless a lot of the time while we walk around. Like, I just want to let you guys take it in because this island is so just unique. I've never seen anything like it. It just has happy vibes. Like, I genuinely feel like I'm on the Animal Crossing version of a vacation. And I love all these views Steven has worked to create. If you climb up, I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful this is, especially with all of the trees, the little lights that keep going. So, so amazing. Oh, look at the little ducks in this little, like, swamp creek. I'm obsessed. That's so precious. This is cute. I love the little shell fountain in front of the house here. Super cute. I'm trying to get out of the way so that Steven can lead the way. And we're climbing up again. Look at all of the mini swamps we have on the first tier of cliffs on this island. It is astonishing to me that Steven managed to do all of this. I don't know that I could, honestly. I don't know if I have the patience to work with so many cliffs, so many like distant views perfecting them. I don't think we've had a frame of this video so far that wasn't aesthetically pleasing, and that is something to be proud of. And look at the little frog down there. Ah, oh, where did Steven even get all of these frog models? Now I need some. And this is a beautiful sitting area. I'm also really excited to explore the beach that we can just barely see to the right here. I see more art. Now we're wandering back towards the front. This is just so beautiful. Look at the big bear too. And we've got what looks like another little greenhouse here with a bear guard. I just love that sign, the custom design on the sign, the little rose. I know I already mentioned this, but it's so pretty. I wish I was like a talented pixel artist, but I can't make anything. I can't make any sort of clothing, any sort of sign. I made Lorian's flag and that was it. It's the only thing I'll ever design pixel wise. Ooh, this might be my favorite house so far. I love like the stunted trees in front of it. That's so cute and very festive. We have the tree, the gift, the nutcracker, the tabletop festive tree, a snow globe. This is like Christmas corner. This house is also really aesthetic somehow. This is beautiful. It's like its own little island. I believe this is Lily's Island, Stephen says. Unless I just didn't read that message in time. I believe that's Lily's house. I had her on Lost Falls for a while. This is very beautiful. I love this shell arch. I feel like I can never make it work anywhere on my islands, but it's so pretty. Like it's so nice and tropical. This island has a lot of whimsy. Like, I feel like I'm walking through a dream somehow. It's very surreal. Well, this is cute. We've got a lot of like frozen inspired items here. There's like a shaved ice maker over there on the stall. Is that a snow? It is a snowflake. Ah, cute. Okay, Steven says that this is Francine's ice cream parlor. Makes sense. That's why we have the shaved ice maker and everything. I can never find anywhere to put the counters either. The frozen furniture really trips me up, but Steven has yet again figured out a way to use something that I can't use. I'm not jealous or anything. I hope you all are enjoying these views as much as I am because this is literally 
like insane the amount of work that went into this island Steven said that this island had about 300 hours of work I believe Yeah, 330 plus hours of work went into this island, and honestly, it looks like a million, a million hours of work. The number of hybrid flowers on this island is something else. I feel like I have to constantly beg people who have like overflowing flowers to let me come and dig them up. And then we've got like a painting area up here. Look at this view. This is, <laughs> this is just incredible. I make sparkles. I honestly can't believe my eyes. Like, how did he do this? All of the waterfalls, all of the water is so natural. And now we're on the right hand beach. So this is where Steven's pier is, cute. I have no idea how to decorate piers. So <laughs> if you guys have any pier decorating tips, definitely hit me up. I feel like I need to stare at Lucy from Afterglow's piers that she's designed because I can't do it. Again, we've got so many weeds on the beach and yet it still works out. It looks great. look here we've got Gullivar. I never help him. I literally never help him. I am so lazy like the idea of having to go and get my diving gear just so I can go find his communicator. No I'm not about it. Anyway in other news this is a nice little lounge area and we've got these little islands here by Lily's house. This is so beautiful and calming. I'm definitely getting like the resort vibes a lot here. These feel like beach amenities that they would list in their little pamphlets. Come visit us and have coconut juice on the beach. Oh, this outdoor bath is really well placed too. Can I please? This feels like a spa. I'm obsessed. This is so great. And the hula doll. That's very cute. I love that placement here. Even this is just an astounding view of the bamboo and lit up cedar trees on the ledge there. We've also got some wind turbines. Oh, this is interesting. We've got like an industrial waste area back here. Also, look at the frozen customization Steven has used. He said that this is... Okay, Steven said this is Murphy's Radioactive Waste Area, and look at the customization for the frozen furniture. Like, it's a, not like a light green, but in this lighting, it just looks like murky pond water. That's a really nice detail, I think, to have it feel poisonous. This is cute too. We've just got our little table and chairs in the swamp. I think it would have been funny if like there had been a Shrek custom design just hidden somewhere among the trees. I mean, not to say that there wasn't. I'm not saying I peeked around every single tree. Maybe there is, but that would be funny in my opinion. I've got another really nice little resting area, little lounge. I think Steven did an incredible job of maintaining this lush resort theme throughout the island, which I don't know if I could do that. I mean, this is wild. And now we've got baby Marshall's house. Oh, Steven says this is Marshall's Swamp Bakery. Nice. 
Everything here is just so colorful and lovely. Maybe I'll be inspired to incorporate bright, happy colors on one of my future islands now. I feel like I stay relatively in the safe zone with my decor. Oh, this is like a multi-tiered bakery. We're climbing up. Already I'm just blown away by this custom design, the little cookies and stuff in the back. That's so cute. Is the beautiful statue supposed to be a waitress? Perhaps. This is just, oh, uh, what an, an absolutely gorgeous island. I feel like I can't give it enough compliments. Also, this is an idea for how to handle having a south-facing river because Steven just turned it into a little island and it looks great. I think we're moving back into familiar territory now. Yes, I definitely remember that yellow mush parasol. I think we're near resident services, maybe? Yes. Yes, we are. Here's Marshall still wandering around by resident services. Oh my gosh, this man just went into the pond. Did you see that? Oh my god. Okay, alright, Marshall, you just glitched. Okay, so now we're heading to the right. I remember last time we left resident services, we headed over to the left. Now we're seeing this side of the swamp. Very cute, very... I don't know, moody somehow with all the purple. And I think this is Steven's house. Steven says he hasn't decorated his interior yet, but they're working on it. Um, so we're not going to go in and tour, but very cute. I love the festive wreath. Also, we got a little duck. Ah. But I like how the weeds kind of form a path here. Very freeing that you can just run. Another puppy. Look at all these trees that have lights. Oh my gosh. I want lit cedar trees on Lost Falls right now. They wouldn't even match with like my autumn red, yellow, orange vibes, but I don't even care. I'm just gonna take you through a few more views that Steven has guided me to here at the end of the tour. I mean, this is just a couple of highlights of this astounding island. I really hope you enjoyed doing this tour with me. I think this island turned out just absolutely perfect. Like all of the colors are so happy and inspiring and this was just a wonderful first live tour for me. So everyone thanks Steven for this visit and as promised here's the map. Just look at that water terraforming. Just uh, I have no words. It is insane to look at a map like this and think about all of the work that went into this island. Like just how much Steven was doing to get this like swamp core island ready for us to see. Thank you all again so much for joining me on this tour and I can't wait to see you in the next one. And Pretty soon I'm going to be touring Lost Falls finally, so keep an eye out for that. I hope you all have a lovely day, night, or whatever it is where you are, and here's Peaches to tell you goodbye until next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!